Happy Friday, everybody. It's hashtag FAQ Friday live from my office in Windermere. And everybody who knows me knows I love to achieve and exceed goals. And as we are in the last quarter of the year, what are you achieving? What have you achieved already? What have you celebrated already for the first three quarters of the year? And what do you need to execute? And what do you need to focus on to achieve in the last uh, quarter so you've got it you've got to have the commitment to achieve it and uh, get the effective execution so i'm going to give you a step-by-step -step of how to achieve goals in the last quarter because you you're in the final uh, quarter of the year and it's so important that you uh, review and refine your goals make sure that you know what you're heading for what what goals you want to achieve in the last quarter um, and identify smart objectives. What are they? Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound. Make sure that you have a very clear goals um, on what you need to achieve in your business. Uh, prioritise your goals. Make sure that you know what needs to be done first and then what the priorities uh, along with them. The most critical goals to achieve um, and focus on the efforts to each of these top priorities, each step. Uh, don't get um, carried away with other uh, and, and distracted with other goals that do not serve you. So really focus on your, whether it's personal or professional, what goals you want to achieve uh, in your organisation for the last quarter of the year. Um, I, I hear quite a lot that uh, people get carried away um and or overwhelmed so the other element is actually break your goals into smaller tasks let's break it right down so it's really easy to achieve so divide the larger goals into smaller tasks um make them manageable and and actually create little milestones on each one so that you get closer every single day towards your bigger goal um, and then you can, you know, track your progress and stay motivated. It's so, so important. Um, make sure if you have got anybody else helping you on your goals that you set, then specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound uh, goals and targets um, and clear define the criteria that you can gauge, you know, the progress uh, objectively. Uh, create the action plan. I do this with all my power hours, my, with my one-to-one -one clients. Everybody has an action plan with who's responsible for it, why you're doing it, what difference it's going to make, and and what you've got to do. All the all the action, all the specific, uh, measurable, achievable, realistic, time-bound tasks as well along the way. Uh, and when you're going to actually review it to make sure that you're on track and allocate time wisely. And be, make sure when you're allocating time wisely that you do block out time in your diary. If you don't put it in the diary, it's never going to work. It's a, It then becomes a dream that you want to do, but you're never going to achieve it because it's never blocked out in your diary. So treat these time blocks um, as non-negotiable appointments with yourself or with your team that you achieve them and it gets completed. Uh, eliminate distractions. I've already said that. Um, it's easily done. Uh, turn off unnecessary notifications. If you're in a meeting with your team, make sure nobody's going to disturb you unless there's a fire uh, or, any, or an emergency. But really look at if you're doing something on a computer, shut all tabs down, just focus on what you're doing, turn all notifications off. Uh, and create a conducive work environment. Take all, out all uh, distractions, turn your phone on, do not disturb, uh, and make sure that you can eliminate all distractions and give yourself the bite-sized chunks. Give yourself 20 minutes, 20 minutes where you're focused on that and, and you get more done. Uh, stay accountable, really important. This is great uh, if you've got a coach, um, uh, or a, a trusted friend, mentor or colleague or the team, you know, make sure that you uh, have reg regular check ins, how you discuss what's going on. There might be uncomfortable action. That's where you do need a coach to get through all these uh, limiting beliefs or, or patterns that you've always done it that way and it'll always continue to happen. 
um and then and then really look at tracking your progress and action plans are great for tracking your progress checking in your, on your diary where are you up to how far have you got to go how have you completed that um uh, adjust as is as necessary if you've got a really busy week don't make it an excuse no excuses are um um, you're not allowed excuses you've got to make sure that you don't have excuses but adjust uh if you need to be adaptable um if you have a change in circumstances say for example that goal's not right for you anymore then be flexible um and to you've got to you've got to be really clear on what goal you're going to achieve uh but really clear on what that looks like and how you're going to uh be able to monitor it and how you're going to um, ensure that you're going to achieve and exceed those goals. Um, one thing that's really hard, unless you've got somebody keeping you accountable, is staying motivated. Um, and, and it is hard, I get that. But if you stay motivated, reminding yourself of why you want to achieve the goals, that's the key. If you've not got a why behind a goal, it's not going to be achieved. Uh, because you keep putting it off, you'll come up with every excuse uh but visualize the desired outcome of um of of what the benefits of that goal and achieving them will bring if you're not resourceful and you don't ask for help or support um it can be a real hardship it can be really difficult especially in the last quarter and you think oh I'll start next year or I'll start in uh, in the next quarter uh but look at see if you need any training any mentorship any collaboration with others uh, or any masterminds uh, really look at what who is it that knows how to achieve it and go and find them go and ask them for help and support it you know it's it's really important and then obviously practice self-care i say this on on regular occasions you know hashtag tfm time for me uh, you need to make sure that when you're achieving it, you're enjoying the journey as well. If you're not enjoying the journey, it's going to be a real tough time. And, you know, if you, you've got to have that work-life balance to be able to continue to, you know, be excited and motivated and the adrenaline of setting your goals and achieving them, but also make sure that you maintain focus and productivity. And you do that by looking after yourself um, and, and keep the stress management uh, clear proper rest exercise and, and going back to nature even if it's chucking it down outside and you're out there you know in the elements go and enjoy it you need the fresh air you need nature and you need some time out it gives you clarity it gives you real focus you can come back and tackle anything uh celebrate i say this regularly and i said it at the beginning celebrate every single milestone or complete task or complete goals make sure that you put on your action plan what you're going to do to celebrate once you've finished it once you've achieved it uh recognize your progress recognize your team's progress make sure that you reward them and congratulate them because that increases motivation it boosts confidence and and it boosts your um your endorphins as well and it does for your team as well and stay committed no matter what if that goal is worth achieving please stay committed because maintaining a strong commitment to that goal that you are going to complete it um even if you get lots of setbacks the the key is to stay focused and, and adapt as needed um, and keep moving towards your goals. How do I know about that? Because I'm doing it every day of my life. Um, my immersive XP has been three years of blood sweat, lots of tears, uh, every bit of finance that I've ever had in my life has gone into it. I've invested everything I've got. But guess what? I'm keeping on that journey and I've had a lot of knockbacks, but we are near to the uh, launch date of our beta testing we're just finalizing all the problem solving at the moment and and ensuring we've dotted all the t uh, the i's and crossed all the t's and and that's what you have to do with goal setting is make sure you've got everything done uh, so you don't fall over after you've achieved it you know be be joyous you know every element um and get people who are experts who know what they're doing on board with you to help and support you.
So if you've got any questions about achieving goals of how you want to do that within your business, um, I am absolutely amazing at it. I can say that because I have every single client I work with who has goals uh, set, actually achieves them and exceeds them. Um, but you've got to stay focused. So and, and you've got to stay focused on what you want to achieve. So I hope that's helped and please get in touch if you need any help or support or, or clarification on uh, goals because it's so important to email me alison at ajlakes.com please contact me and i'll help and support you all i can and um, there's always a power hour if you if you're interested to deep dive and get an action plan uh, from me that's what you get uh, from the power hours uh, or the strategy uh, time so please get in touch alison at ajlakes.com and happy friday everybody and a happy weekend have a great weekend and enjoy setting completing achieving and celebrating your goals take care thank you bye bye